What are the big differences here between the coupe and the sedan? Certainly the loss of two doors. It's also nine centimeters shorter. And because of that really low sloping roof, it's actually nine centimeters lower as well. One of the coolest design things I think about the S-Class Coupe is it doesn't have a B-pillar at all, giving it a really sporty look. From A to C-pillars, it looks almost seamless and all you see is glass. It's a really, really nice design cue. Suppose you're looking at a five-star safety rating as well, so you're not going to be sacrificing anything in the safety department by not having that pillar. From a design standpoint, it still looks very different from the sedan version. On the back, you've got almost a built-in spoiler. It looks really, really nice and a very masculine looking strong presence. One of my other favorite features, something that we saw in the CLA or the A-Class, depending on where you live in the world, and that's that awesome Pinstar grill. I assume we'll see this make its way to all of Mercedes line, but it looks really, really incredible. And if you're so inclined, you can even get the star logo to even light up a little bit. This car is not all about the looks. It also has a ton of technology, both in the cabin and with the powertrain. It's got the next generation magic body control system. Essentially, it's got cameras in the front that'll sense when you're coming up on a turn and it'll tighten up the body on the outside to make sure you get the best traction coming up. So the car's actually thinking before you actually do it. Uh, it's a really cool technology and we're finally seeing it in place uh, with the S-Class Coupe. We're looking at here the S500, so it's a 4.7 liter V8, putting out a beastly 450 horsepower. Uh, what you're looking at is full production and it will go on sale in November. Interior is different as well than the S-Class sedan. You've got Mercedes' new control module, which now has a touch sensitive uh, pad on top so you can sort of move around, makes it a lot easier for inputting letters, something similar uh, that we've seen Audi and BMW do. A little bit sportier. Uh, inside just give it a little bit of a different feel. Uh, it's got the three spoke steering wheel to give it a bit more of a sporting feel and look to it and it looks absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see these guys hit the road sometime later on this year. Thank you guys for watching and taking a first look with us at the 2014 S-Class Coupe. It's probably one of my favorite cars here at the Geneva Motor Show and there are literally thousands uh, of cars. When this guy was unveiled just a few months back it was absolutely breathtaking to see in pictures and even more so in person. What do you guys think? Could this be your next car? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave it in the comments right down below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like. We always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Renton from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.